this is NWA941 and today I'm going to show you a quick airport review and the most important feature my 1400 scale Gemini Jets hanger so I'll show you the hanger let's start actually let me get the box real quick um the box this right here is the box it's a pretty big box actually um, maybe about a foot and a half, give or take, give or take a couple of inches. Um, it's just like you see on the, all the websites, the pictures that they give you. Um, it's nothing special, just styrofoam on the inside. These are the measurements, 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters wide, 9 and a half inches or 24 centimeters deep, and 4 inches and 10 centimeters high. So um, it's real nice. As you can see, it says a solid one piece, and it is solid, and it's really nice. It's actually kind of heavy, but um, that's the box. So I'll show you the hanger. And when I got it, it was it was larger than I thought actually. And I'll show you my old Lego hanger. So if I can find that really quickly. Okay, here we are. This is my old Lego hanger. Um, they're about the same length a little bit, but actually the Gemini hanger is a lot wider on the inside. Um, it's a lot longer too, as you can see. There's half of it right there, so that's that. And um, I'm going to show you the actual hanger. So I'll lift it up and uh, show you. This is the inside of the hanger from the back. It has nice windows. Um, this is plastic simulating glass. See the doors right here. Um, it's just really nice. I believe I guess these would be lights. More windows. You can't see through these, but you can see through these as I showed you. You can see the Southwest um, JetBlue A320. And um, it's just really nice. So. I'm going to set it up where I had it, and as you can see how big it is, you can fit multiple aircraft. So I actually had, you can fit, say, one of those, 767, another one, and about two more. They won't be, and you know, depending on the way, you can, you can lay them this way or that way, and that's what they would be on the inside, but it is, it is very very big. Um, I was actually very impressed with it. So I'm going to put it back where it was really quickly. And um, back to the inside. So you have your 767. It can hold multiple 767s. And it's nothing too, too much to show you about the hanger except that it's very detailed. You know, um, both sides. I guess these would act as solar panels, which is really cool and neat idea. And uh, I kind of have my maintenance area. It's kind of messy, and it's designed to look like that. Um, have a bus near the door. Have another bus. My um, Lego glass pad and another glass pad I made out of like a like a little construction toolkit or whatever I had when I was younger, and I just decided to be creative with. You have a tug on the inside and. This uh, cutout right here is actually, this cutout right here is for the tail. And um, we have a 747, one of the main gear right over there. It actually broke off a Northwest 747 Gemini Jets that I had. And I usually, you know, I try to take care of the planes and sometimes they just get old and they wear out over time. And uh, sometimes they will break. And, and now Gemini has improved their quality so you really shouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. But um. That's my hanger, so I'll uh, show you a quick quick little view of my airport, like I've showed you before. The cargo facility, that's what I'm most proud of. Then my fire station, and Jim and I actually is supposed to be coming out with more um, actual parts for the airport. I heard a fire station, a real control tower, so, um, but until then, you know, you try to be creative. Use Lego or Connects or there's different stuff. Go to your local hobby shop try to find stuff um, 
Herpa also has some accessories. These, all the orange ones are all Herpa. The icing vehicles, um, everything, there's, there's always little things you can do to improve airport. Uh, this is a Herpa terminal, and like I said, I'm really considering replacing it with a Gemini terminal, even though it has less gates. Um, this is, uh, another one of my aircraft, Delta pushing back, and, uh, I really like the way the international side of my airport looks. Um, I did remove, I removed the remote stands, so now C-17 is parked right there. It's a blocked off jetway. It'll just come in like that and swing around and taxi out like that. But um, Air Force One on the taxiway, and you know, like I said, there's all kinds of stuff you can do to your airport to make it look more realistic. But um, the main focus is the hangar, and uh, it's really hard material, really sturdy. It's actually kind of heavy. I'd say probably a couple, two pounds. Five. It's it's heavy though. It has a lot of good weight to it, but it's it's really nice. And um, I'll actually show you how you put the 747 in it. This is a Delta. I'll show you an example of that. And as you can see, it still has a lot of room. It's so it's it's quite large and you know you probably could lay one facing the opposite direction so you could have two this can fit an A380 and it is although it is large I tried to put my AN225 inside and the wingspan was just too large it won't fit so unless I put it in on an angle and it's still still really weird so like I said this is a very very large uh, hanger and it is, it is, I'd highly recommend it, highly, this, it's huge, and it uh, really makes, really adds a shine to your airport, so, um, hopefully I get another table, I can add a runway, and, uh, maybe some more parking spaces, and, uh, so that's, let's just take this off so you can see the pool, that's my airport, um, also, I just wanted to bring up a point, this jet blue right here, if you look up the new Air Transat um, of Canada, if you look up their new colors, it kind of looks like this. It was just something I thought of, but um, kind of looks like this aircraft. It has little writing in, in blue and orange, I believe. So uh, check it out. It's Air Transat Airlines of Canada. And um, I'll show you. And that's that. So uh, NWA, rate, comment, subscribe feedback positive or negative and uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I encourage everybody to start collecting or get one plane or whatever so uh, thank you for watching